welcome back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you. Today's video is sort of a start of one week but mm, there's another week that I found that has clashed at the same time and I'm not gonna lie to you I was actually pretty shocked <laughs> and this thing came up at the last minute so I thought I may just combine the two and just see how I go. At the start of this week, so from the 15th, there is two special weeks that focuses on awareness and acceptance and this week it's National Epilepsy Awareness Week, but it is also Mental Health Awareness Week as well. But I didn't know about Mental Health Awareness Week until I got word about it from the National Autistic Society. And they're working with a charity called the Mental Health Foundation, and their main theme this year is stress. And this is kind of like a very important issue to me because I am going through a lot of stress at the moment, and I have had a few connections where a lot of friends I know have been through the same experience that I have. So I thought I would just sit down and talk about it, not just in an epileptic view, but in an autistic point of view as well. So today we're going to be talking about autism, epilepsy and stress. According to the Mental Health Foundation, two thirds of us will experience a mental health problem in our lifetime. And through my eyes, I could see that stress has become a very big key factor with mental health and this is something that's really really interesting because when you think of stress you don't tend to think as a mental health problem it's just basically like an emotion that's going through you but when I found out through the Mental Health Foundation and the National Autistic Society I was really quite surprised and I had to really think back on it and just have a little reflection on it. And after I read an article from the Mental Health Foundation about stress, I came to the conclusion that everything makes absolute sense. I had to reflect not just on myself, but for the people around me as well. As someone on the autistic spectrum, I really didn't know how to express stress. And normally I tend to mask it, especially when that there are people about because I know that I don't really want to show people that I have a weakness but I think to be honest I need to be a bit more open and that is something that I'm not very good at and when I am stressed I tend to let my emotions out when I am all alone and in a few cases, I actually blabbered on a bit more. I would swear, which is not very good. And I would just look at myself in the mirror, just criticize myself, and I would cry, which can either last for a few minutes or about an hour or two. However, when I'm really stressed, I tend to chew on my clothes, especially hoodies. And I would just chew and chew until I calm myself down. And I was in that phase until I was in my late teens. And at the time, it was very, very soothing to me. And I just accepted that as it is. And a lot of people have said to me, don't chew your clothes, it's bad. It just makes me even more nervous. And I would just start to chew and chew until I've had enough. Another thing that would happen if I was really, really stressed is that I tend to get migraines. I have a family history of migraines and since some members of my family tend to get head migraines, I tend to get stomach migraines, which is very unusual. And I have to be honest with you, it's really, really painful. And when I get stomach migraines, I tend to feel a bit bloated for about two to three days. And I think having a stomach migraine makes me even more stressed, which isn't really, really good. I have tried some bits just to calm me down and it will take me a few days just to work things out because I am a slow thing. But it's mainly because I am very insecure about myself. And again, this is something that I really have to work on. And I don't know that in time it will happen or it will not, but we're just going to have to see how we go. I have also experienced stress through my friends. And unlike myself, they show their emotions of stress a lot clearer. Sometimes they can have a little bit of mood swings. Sometimes they can feel a bit upset or angry. And sometimes they would 
just want to talk about it, but they're not sure how to deal with it. And some of the things that I heard and witnessed through my friends have been very traumatic. It, it was a really hard thing to witness, and that made me reflect on how stress is a big issue with mental health. And as I was reading through the article from the Mental Health Foundation, it fitted the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. Sometimes experiencing stress through other people is a lot harder than going through stress yourself. I know through some experiences that there have been people who have been cyber bullied or bullied physically or verbally, but it doesn't really have to be this way. And that's why by getting help through others or organisations, there will be more opportunities for everyone who wants to seek help or want to talk to others about mental health. And I give a huge pat on the back to the National Autistic Society and the Mental Health Foundation to address this issue. And I think that's all I got to say really to be honest because I have covered everything and also I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed and just a tiny little bit emotional. So I'm going to be stopping right there and throughout the next week I will be focusing on just epilepsy. I have a video coming out tomorrow and this was a vlog that I filmed ages ago but this was way way before I got the email from the NAS. So if it's a little bit out of date I really do apologise for that. But hopefully fingers crossed it won't happen again really to be honest. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And until then guys I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and until then keep on dreaming and never stop believing. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye!